I mean, a, a tour story, a, a crazy one would be, I know one time, man, after G-Rap had, after we finished the Wanted Dead or Alive album for Cool G Rap and Polo, Bobby Brown, he really loved that album. So he had reached out to Fly Ty Williams, which was G-Rap's manager at the time, who was like, yo, I need to work with G-Rap. And at the time, like G-Rap, me and G-Rap was like real, real, real tight. Like anything G-Rap was on was like, I was producing it at that time. Short stint, but that's how we was rocking. Like we was going to the banks together and everything, getting check, checks cashed and all that. So, um, you know, we, we out there, we, we go out there, man, Atlanta, we get to the airport, Bobby got all the convoy, all these cars. He's the first one in the red coupe and all that. We get in the coupe. He got a box of G-Rap albums right there. He loves the album. He's like, yo, the album's crazy, man. I, I, I love y'all. We gonna work. We go in the studio. Like, he like, yo, I got the studio. That's when he had bought the studio in Atlanta. He was basically the man in Atlanta at that time. Like, crazy. So we in the studio. I got like a trunk of records, like a treasure trunk of records that I brought with me. So I'm bringing the records. I got my SP 1200, everything. We go into the studio. Bobby comes in, do a little something on the board. Yo, what's up, y'all? Y'all wanna go to strip club? You know, G-Rap, G-Rap, that's his whole shit. Hell yeah, fuck that shit. All right, yo, we, we come back, man. We work, we work again, man, we work again go to a strip club that night and never come back to the studio. Next day, we're gonna try the studio again. Come back in the studio. Start working and all that shit. Bobby, come in. Yo, man, I wanna show y'all this new house that we getting built over here, man. We, we getting this house built, man. We, you know, right now we in the suites and all that, but I wanna show y'all my house that's going. Studio's dead again, another day. Next day, yo, and now we coming close to like January 1st or something like, it's getting ready to be New Year's or something like, he's like, yo man, I'm doing a party at the studio. Like I said, he had a lot of people around him, a lot of time, an entourage or something, so it's, he had his big homie, man, his, his, his bodyguard, man. So he had this party in the studio and shit, bodyguard, everybody bringing their girls, they chilling and shit like this. Long story short, Bobby Brown walked out with home, home with his bodyguard's girl, right in his face. Me and G-Rap was sitting there laughing. This is all young innocent shit. We laughing, we laughing, we like, oh shit, this is crazy. How you do that? The next day, we gotta go now. Like fly tied and left. We didn't get no work done or nothing like this. Long story short, I, we sitting in there. I, I wound up telling Bobby Brown, I was like, yo man, you bullshit, man. You bullshit, straight up, man, you bullshit, man. I came out here, I brought a trunk full of records, man. I bought an SP 1200, man. We ain't get no work done, man. You bullshit, man. He had like a 22 or something. He was walking around with a 22. Bob was kind of stunned a little bit when I said that shit, cause you know, we, the whole time we was, you know, everybody getting stimulated or whatever and shit. So it wasn't no, you know, like no real focus on nothing and shit. But it was just like, yo, you know? And he kind of was a little stunned cause it was like, he was, I think maybe sort of walking around with a lot of yes men. So for somebody to actually say something, you know what I'm saying? like. Because it was a lot of tiptoeing around Bobby. It was like, you know, yeah, okay, okay, you know. And it was just like, nah, dogs, you know. And I, I wasn't trying, I was like, no, dog or nothing. Like, I was dugging them or nothing. Like, there was nothing like that shit. I was just saying from the studio shit, because I was really on some studio, like, yo, let's get some work done. So that's the angle I was coming from. I was like, yo, man, you bullshit. And he was just like, yo. Yeah, but I'm getting this house built and I'm rolling, you know, and all that type of shit. So, you know, Bob was doing his thing and shit. Shout out to my man, B-Double, man, for real, man. And then when Front Door came out, cause that was right before Main Source was coming out. When Front Door came out and I saw Bobby Brown at Jack the Rapper, he was like, yo, my man, why you ain't tell me you was, cause Front Door was ringing. He was wild, why you ain't tell me, man? Yo, that front door shit going crazy right now, man. Damn, why you? And I was like, yo, B, man, come on, man. I told you. you were... and everything. But that's my man, man, Bobby Brown, man. He's, he's just out there wilding, man, early, man. He was out there. And we never got it done. I, I was really excited for that to happen, man. It would have been crazy for G-Rap and Bobby Brown to work. But, you know, go double up on that with G-Rap. He tell you the same story. Word. Crazy shit.